Hi, Staff Sergeant Masiba here, also known as Art Chisel on social media, and welcome to another episode of U.S. Army Basic Combat Training Mini Series. Your future starts here. For today's video, we're gonna show you the day-to-day -day life of what happens in basic combat training for the Army. What is a barracks? What is a barracks room? What does the barracks look like? Where do you sleep? Where do you prepare your gear? Where do trainees eat in Army basic training? What is a dining facility? And if you think about it, this is probably one of those times that you will be away from home, from your family, from your friends, from relatives, so pretty much everyone, and also away from your cell phone and the internet. I understand it's given, life in basic training can be hard because you're away from everyone. But guess what? There's a special person that we call in the army, battle buddy, that will be there for you. You might ask, what is a battle buddy? One of the best things I've experienced in the US Army is having more than just a friend, a coworker or a classmate. I met people I can call family or in the US Army, we usually call each other battle, short for battle buddy. It doesn't matter where you're from, what color, race, gender or whatever it is because we take care of each other that's all that matters as long as you're wearing the same uniform as long as you're an army soldier you are my brother you're my sister i will take care of you a whole hundred percent what we're showing you right now is the dining facility in army basic training this is also what a dining facility looks like in a regular base in the army a dining facility can be compared to a cafeteria in your school in your college or your place of work dining facilities are open for breakfast lunch and dinner and even on the weekends here they offer a variation of dishes meals different types of fruits snacks and pretty much everything that you can think of because you're in training the dining facility will make sure that they serve high quality food to fuel you when you go to training the only thing that you gotta watch out when you're at the dining facility while in basic training is to avoid the ice cream avoid sweets avoid the cakes because if your drill sergeant catches you eating these things you're definitely gonna pay for it. While in basic training, you may not have that much time to yourselves because in basic training, you are gonna be sleeping in a bay. You will see a lot of bunk beds and obviously you're gonna be sleeping and living in these quarters for the next 10 weeks with your battle buddies that are going through training. Everyone wakes up at the same time, everyone showers at the same time, everyone eats at the same time, and everyone sleeps all at the same time. The reasoning behind this is because you are in training. You are a soldier in training, coming from the civilian life into the army. You may or may not have any strict discipline outside in the civilian life, but in the army, you have to learn what military bearing means. You have to learn what army professionalism and how to carry yourself as a soldier. This is the part where you will become a United States Army soldier. So you have to understand the level of discipline in the training, why we conduct this. Another thing that you should learn in army basic combat training is to value physical fitness. Once again, you are about to become an American soldier. And with that said, you have to be physically fit. You have to be mentally fit. Being a soldier, you will go through a lot of stress. But with a sound mind and a sound body and all proper training, you will be good, you will accomplish the mission. In Army basic training, physical training is conducted every morning. What you're looking at right now is a PT test, an Army physical fitness test. It consists of two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a two-mile run. It also varies from day to day. Sometimes you will go through obstacle courses, Sometimes you will be conducting combatives. And in the near future, you should expect changes because the Army Physical Fitness Test has slowly been changing. So be on the lookout for that. If you're curious about what the day-to-day -day life in the United States Army could be like, stick around because that's what I'll be explaining. What's up, friends? I am U.S. Army veteran Christopher Chaos, and in this video, I'm explaining a little bit about what it's like in the day-to-day -day life in the United States Army. So let's start off with the best case scenario, the more common days that you'll have, which is usually a Monday through Friday kind of day. Now it usually starts off with doing physical fitness in the morning. Soldiers will usually have like a 6.30 formation for PT. They'll have to show up pretty early. Usually the common thing in the Army is you have to be 10 or 15 minutes prior to the time you're supposed to be there. So the formation is at 6.30, then you should probably be showing up like 6.20, 6.15. In some cases, even earlier than that, because like for me, I would often have to do like some kind of meetings before the 6.30 formation, and also a lot of people want to beat the traffic because the traffic can get really crazy around PT formation time. 
Now, physical training is Monday through Fridays, but a lot of times on Thursdays, you'll have what's called sergeant's time training, and they'll kind of start off maybe at 6.30, we're doing some kind of road march that leads into training for the day. Physical fitness or PT usually lasts until about 7.30, but there are also some cases where units want to extend that a little bit longer and train up until 8. After physical fitness is done, you sometimes will have another formation to kind of release you from PT. Sometimes it's done at the squad level or the platoon level, and sometimes you meet back up as a company to be dismissed from PT. After that, the soldiers will then have from, say, 7.30 or 8 until about 9 or 9.30 before they have to report to work. So during that time frame, between reporting back to work, they're doing things like uh, getting a shower in, changing into uniform from the PT uniform to the regular uniform, and also trying to get breakfast. And that could be breakfast in the chow hall, breakfast at a local place, or breakfast at home. Now typically work hall formation is usually at 0, 09 or 9 a.m. Sometimes this is a formation where they have things to put out or just want to get another accountability. And sometimes it's just showing up to where you're supposed to be at 0, 09. So at this point you're usually doing your job. In some cases you're doing some training or you have something that's going on usually during this time frame. Working in the motor pool, working in the shop, working wherever you're supposed to be working or attending some kind of classes they maybe you're supposed to be doing. That really just kind of depends on what your job is as far as usually what your day-to-day -day kind of task usually is. For example, like me as an 88 Mike, usually meant being in the motor pool, working on your vehicles, uh, maybe doing some missions. For mechanics, it meant working on the vehicles, uh, doing maintenance. And infantry guys are usually just training throughout the day, going through battle drills and doing all sorts of other stuff that they have scheduled. 